Monday, January 23rd. 23rd. And we are live here at Shepherd's Fashions at the train yards. We are live on YouTube and Facebook. And this is a live style workshop. So today we're talking about travel because it seems everybody you speak to is going somewhere, warm, cold, everywhere. It doesn't even seem to matter anymore. It used to be the winter, everybody went warm, but now everybody's going everywhere. So we're gonna show you two capsule wardrobes. One, which is Elaine's capsule, which is here, which is based on cooler weather, going to Italy this time of year, which she has done. And the other one is based on Teresa's wardrobe for a cruise. So we packed everything before the show into the carry-on just to make sure that everything would fit, and it did, which was Yay. great. <laughs> and we even have bathing suits and everything in there. Um, this is my carry-on. I brought it in today, and we're going to talk about a few little travel tips. I'll explain why I bought this particular carry-on. But let's start with some tips. Yes. How are you doing? We're good. We have five people on YouTube. Oh, <laughs> see a lot of people. Welcome. <laughs> and quite a few on the Facebook. Facebook are signing up. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're going to talk about tips and tricks for travel. I wanted to show you these. I buy these in packages and I'll often throw them in my suitcase and bring them with me because I like to have slippers on at the hotel. Mm -hmm. I don't care if I'm going somewhere hot or cold. I still like to have slippers. They come in little bags and then I don't even bother to bring them home. I just throw them out when I leave and they're left there. So I've got like packs and packs and packs of these at home. So one little tip. Love it. Take it or leave it. Second little tip is the last time I went away, I borrowed um, Elaine's um, adapter set. Then I found this one, which are just like little tiny pieces. And all you have to do is bring each of the pieces with you, nice and small. Hers was much bigger and I have seen bigger ones with that all of these plug into. This is really tiny, so I quite like this one. The other thing I'm going to show you is the Apple Air Tags. Okay, Ooh. so this is what it looks like when you get it. It's about $40 per tag. And this is goes, um, you just hold it up to your phone if you have an iPhone. I know there's other versions of this. I know there's all kinds of versions of this out there right now. I liked the Apple one because it's easy to use. I can just hold my phone next to it and it will load itself. You need to make sure that you have the where, um, yeah. where's my app, which is your phone finder and all of your devices on there. If you have kids, I'm sure you know what that app is. Um, and then this is what it looks like. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So it comes like this. And I think this is an important thing for traveling right now. It's, it's a shame that we have to do all of these things and invest even more money than your tickets. But if you are somebody who's traveling perhaps for um, a longer period of time, or you're traveling um, for an event, you may be bringing a carry-on and a suitcase, or maybe you're bringing an empty suitcase to go shopping or to bring things back, or maybe you're going to a wedding. So it's not always feasible just to bring a carry-on. So, you know, understanding that, I think that that's a good investment for $40 so that you can find your luggage and you can track hmm. it down and say, it's in Montreal or it's in Toronto and go back to your airline and say, this is where my luggage is. Also, um, you know, for insurance purposes, you only get a certain amount of insurance on your luggage. Mm -hmm. That way you can say to the insurance company, you know, I've done everything I can. Here's where my luggage was last tracked. So I do think for $40, it's a really good investment and everybody I know has a version of it now and I certainly will be taking it with me when I go. I use the app anyway, so I already had it. It was no big deal. The Where did you get the plug? I bought it, the, these plugs? Yeah. Yes. Walmart. I have to say, uh, Walmart has a huge selection of travel items right now. So I bought the plugs there. You know, they had that. They also had the bigger adapters. I just needed the small ones, so I thought that was a great little thing. I mean, so small, it fit in your purse, so you don't have to worry about it. And the, your slippers. Ah, <laughs> these slippers. Well, you know, you can buy these packages on Amazon. Um, I pick them up, you know, sometimes like at dollar stores. Um, I just always keep a bunch of these 
at home and you know I couldn't find them for the longest time because they were in a suitcase that was stored <laughs> and then I found them the other day and I was so happy because I really love these plus I get cold feet the other thing that you want to bring with you and I'm only talking about Apple product right now because that's what I use um, is this little pin this is a really important little pin Mm -hmm. Okay, so this little pin opens up your SIM card. So depending where you're going and for how long you're going, you can incur a ton of money in um, roaming charges. And even though most of the carriers now have um, roam like home and pay as you go, still if you're out Canada and US is usually around $10. If you're out of Canada and the US, you're up to maybe $15 a day. So it really does add up about $100 a week. If you're gone for four weeks, that's quite a bit of money. Mm -hmm. So this can open up at the airport. You can open your SIM card and buy a SIM card for $10, $15, $20 at the airport and pop that in and you avoid the roaming charges. So again, this is designed only for an Apple device. I'm sure every brand of phone has something to open the card, but it's just a really good tip to, if you want to avoid those roaming charges is perhaps change out your SIM card when you get to your destination, depending where you're going and if you're comfortable doing that. You oh, just right. saved us some money, Kirsten. I saved you some money on your lost luggage. Yes. <laughs> and your SIM card, your roaming fees. The other thing I always bring with me, I have a real thing about people watching movies and TikToks in the airport at full blast. Oh, yes. Gotta say, it's a real pet peeve. Mm -hmm. And I have seen totally so agree. many people doing this, watching a movie, you know, at full blast in the airport. And I jumped because I was like, oh my God, what was that big noise? So don't be one of those people. Get yourself some wireless headphones. Okay, these are teeny tiny. They go in the little box. Look, mine are still charged from my last trip. Mm. I mean, I always bring these. They're so small that they fit into my purse. They fit everywhere. And now that I have my suitcase with a USB port, I can plug them right in to my suitcase and recharge them. But this is also good. My husband goes to bed early. I stay up late. If I want to watch a movie, I'm not on my iPad. I'm not bothering everybody by having it loud, but definitely at the airport. I think these are just, I just a must. I just went back to the gym and I noticed the volume is so loud it's now. Crazy. You need them there yeah. too. So this, this can plug right into my suitcase. So these are great little things. Get the wireless ones so you don't have all the cords and everything that come with the phone. It's worth the investment in something Somebody, like that. we just saved money, Kirsten. Thank God uh, we can shop more. That's right, you see, saved you on the roaming fees. Get a pair of these. Okay, um, the other thing we can talk about too is a little bit of beauty. And then we'll go on, we'll do these two and then we'll go on to some of the looks. Um, because they're so limiting now and stopping you when you're going through, we were talking about this this morning about those little bags that are about this big that they want you to fit all of your liquids in. I'm trying to eliminate as many liquids as I possibly can. So this is a great product. This is Beyond Perfecting Powder Foundation. So it doesn't count as a liquid. I can use it as my powder and my foundation. I don't need to bring a bottle with me anymore. I can throw this in my bag. They're not gonna stop me for this since we're so limited now. So this is Clinique. I'm sure every brand has a version of this, but this is a this to me is a travel essential. I always make sure to have this instead of liquid. And the other thing that I bring because we have so much, so much limited space is a universal lipstick. So this is by Fenty. Um, there's five universal colors that are good on everyone's skin tone. Anybody can wear it. This is a hot cherry. Um, I wear this all the time and it's the only thing I bring with me because it goes with every look. It's like blush for your lips, truly. So instead of bringing four or five tubes of lipstick and lip gloss and more, I bring one. Because so, that goes in your carry on the little plastic bag. That'll go in my plastic bag. So I only need one. I don't need to put a whole bunch of glosses, mm -hmm. anything because it's universal color. It'll work on all of our skin tones. She does five shades, I think of universal for every skin tone. So all of them work on every color. Okay. Fantastic. So now we will go over to Elaine okay. who will be doing her trip to Italy. Mm -hmm. I'll go behind. Thank you. So we're filming on two devices today. <laughs> one for YouTube, 
one for Facebook. So I am jetting off for a seven day extravaganza of wine to Verona, Italy. And uh, I've done this before. We've got an Apple Watch. Rochelle's Apple Watch. Her watch is, her watch is ringing. <laughs> the bat phone. Are, is it saying my flight is canceled? I hope not. Okay. Oh, that's what it is. No, that's <laughs> probably me getting in trouble. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, how, so, Rochelle, how is the sound on Facebook? Our, our, uh, maybe our listeners, our viewers could, could say. I think on YouTube we did a test run and it was good. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, I'm doing uh, seven days in a carry-on. We put everything in the carry-on and the idea was to work with two basic pants with the same kind of straight leg line. So I've got a jean, the sherry jean, which is my favorite, and I'm wearing this for the flight, which is a black pant. So this is a spanner pant. It's a pull-on pant, okay, and it's what we call techno fabric. And that means that it's it's a poly blend. It has stretch in it. You would go to your true size in it, and you're going to see it transform from airport to day to evening. So it's a really good basic. Okay, so here I am at the airport. Okay, I have my travel cashmere wrap. Okay, and I will reinsert this back. But it's about this jacket. So. The, the festa that I'm going to in Verona happens end of March, early April. And so in Verona, it's going to be 12, 13 degrees. So this, this uh, jacket will serve me very, very well. It's kind of a, a spring fall jacket, quilted as you can see. And it has a very European sensibility. And so I feel good in this. It's from Ilse Jacobson. I like the length of it because it goes over my chest. So, you know, I'll never get a cold tush. How's that? Okay. <laughs> All right, and then the sound is good. The Teresa? sound is good. Teresa. All right, now we're going to go back to this. I am starting with my new ideal tunic. All right, so the new ideal tunic from Simply is a piece that I travel with all the time. Very, I think, elegant, sophisticated. I'm in the size 10 in this, and as you see, it has a little slip. So you're going to see that. Oh, thank you. Back. Uh, Time and time again, I'm wearing a tank underneath because I'll be removing this. And the sneaker is one of the three pairs of shoes that I'm bringing with me. So I have a sneaker, I have a ballerina flat, and I have an evening shoe as well because we're going to be attending some events in the evening, okay? So I've gotten, I've gotten to destination, and now I'm getting ready. Now I'm going dodo, okay? Okay. So I, because... Good night. Good night. <laughs> Sleep tight. But what I'm going to do now is the first day at the Fiera, I'm going to inject some color. So these are uh, winemakers that come from all over the world. It's the second biggest wine expo in the world. And so you're going to see people from all over. So you want to look, you know, you want to look cute. Yeah. As Teresa would say. <laughs> you do. But, but you are, you're walking. Uh, you're walking, you're pounding the pavement, you're trying wines, you're talking with people. So I thought this would be very pretty to instill some color. Okay. And then this is a necklace that I'm bringing because you can wear it different ways. So there's four little beads on this and you can remove each one of the beads. They slide off so you can select the colors that of your choosing. I like the pink here, so I'm going to do that. Okay. Now I need a third piece here. We just, just got this in today. So this is a faux jean jacket. It's not denim. It's not denim. But it has the, the cut, the styling of a denim jacket. Mm -hmm. So here's my third piece. And the beauty of this, this is another kind of techno fabric. Look at the stretch in this. Okay? So this is like, I mean, this is a perfect travel piece, right? It's mm -hmm. black, but you, you know what? just brush whatever off it comes up I'm gonna pop the collar look at that now I'm ready for the Fiera okay so my day look all right every night during the Fiera this is like a, a three-day event so every night typically you're invited by a winemaker or by a rep to to go for dinner somewhere usually you know sometimes they'll come and they'll pick you up in the bus What's in my shoes? I'm going out for dinner. Looks like Kleenex. Yes. Paper towel. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there's Scott towels. So here's a little tip of mine for travel. You take your... 
<laughs> you take your foot deodorizer, you spray it, then you put these in your shoes if you've worn them before, right? So that your shoes just smell so fresh and lovely. And in your carry-on too, in they carry should be fresh, right? Right, reminding you we brought everything here in the carry-on. So, oh my gosh, the bus is waiting for me. I've got a rush. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna they do? They ask about the uh, new uh, black jacket. Is it heavy? Light. Light as can be. You will not believe how light it is. Okay. Wait for me, bus driver. I'm coming. So You're worth the wait. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, all Canadian design here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Want to come in, eh? Do you want to come in? Okay. So, so, one more button and then two little earrings and I'm ready for evening. Okay. So, here is, I'm going to take these off. These are really good, by the way. I'm going to put these back on. The wanted earrings are called the brick earring, and they're just a little stud. Okay, stay so right there. Bang! Well, these are my favorites. <laughs> they look vintage. Ooh. They look vintage, and they're clip-ons. Okay, so there you go. Love them. Okay, mm. so I've transformed my little black pant now from day to evening in quite a flash, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there. And this is, as I mentioned, Joseph Ripkoff jacket. I will be proud to say that it this is- It has browns in it. Uh, yes. Brown and gray. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a brown sort And what I like about it is that later on, I can wear it um, with the white t-shirt that I'm bringing and a pair of jeans. Okay, so this is not like just a one and done kind of jacket, okay? Now, I am going, um, yes, now I, I want to do another look on this pant. So you saw this top, what I wanted to do now is reverse it. I was just going to tell you it was on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Elaine! Okay. Too much and wine. Too much. <laughs> oh, c'est la, la dolce vita. And I'm going to... <laughs> I just want a little pop, okay? So what I want to do now is do Pretty. a little oh, pop yeah. of fuchsia. And you probably see a little pop here mm -hmm. because the new ideal has little slits, okay? And then uh, I am going to put this back on. Wow, beautiful. And I'm, re I'm ready for evening. Okay, but a more relaxed kind yes, of evening of look. Okay, now, um, <clears throat> oh yes. So, what I'm doing now, now I'm at the Fiera again. Which top is that? The pink one? The pink the one is the Joseph Ripkoff tank. tank. And good question, Rochelle. All of the pieces you're seeing today are in our style workshop collection online. Okay, I'm going back to these. Okay, and so these are the sneaks from Ara, and again they're on our um, they're on our website. The sole in here is detachable, which is nice if you're traveling and you've so sorry to say this, but your feet sweat all day. Mm -hmm. You can take them out, you can air them out, you can give them a quick little wash, and they will be bright as rain. Okay, now. I'm gonna go back. Yes, the jacket fits me in size the X uh, double X. Wonderful. That's okay. the new denim jacket. Uh, I try it on. Okay. Now, daytime. Back with the new ideal tunic. And I brought an accessory duo. So, what is light as air is this necklace. And it's called the organic necklace from Ziska. Bring it up, bring it down. And then I'm going to put, look at this, okay? That's that pre-crinkled scarf from Dolceza. Look how the colors work so well together. And look how the sneaker gives it, when you go to Europe now, everybody is wearing sneakers. Everybody is doing it. It's incredible, okay? Now, I'm going out for another dinner. Ooh. You're busy. Wow, this is a busy trip. You need a holiday <laughs> soon. It's not stop. It's not stop. We're going to need a holiday. Yes. I'm watching her. And uh, looking forward to this. Now, 
I told you I brought three shoes, right? Yeah. You did. Okay. So this is a gorgeous ballerina flat. It's called the Scout from Ara. Slip into that. Put this on. That's from Wanted. Wow. This is from Wanted Magnetic. And then do you remember that travel wrap that I had? Put that on. Now, I wasn't sure with bracelets. I, you know, I don't know if you're like me. It's Is it silver or gold or why not do both, right? So I'm going to do this gorgeous little bracelet in silver and in gold, and I'm really gonna stack it up because I wanna have fun with this. Now, here's another pair of clip-ons, very elegant, okay? with the silver and the gold. Now, I could do my wanted uh, earrings as well, because of course there's the pearls in here. And now I'm going, and of course the beauty is, there's a little pearl on my shoe too. How's that? Very cute. Okay. Very cute, and I'm out for dinner. I don't know how cold or warm it's going to be, but I feel enveloped in cashmere softness, okay? Now, one more look, now I'm back at the Fiera. And I want to go to a new staple piece um, that's really, really taken the fashion world by storm for women of all ages. And it's the humble white t-shirt. So you'll notice the tank that I'm wearing is from Spanner. And it's a very long tank. It's very close fitted to the body. So I'm gonna make use of that for this next look. They're asking, what about a purse and for evening or... Right, good, yes. Um, well, you would, do, you would do some kind of a nice big purse in which you can put a smaller purse, or you could do, um, what do you call it, Kirsten? A, a sling. A sling. So the sling goes over your shoulder like a messenger bag. But the bulk of it is right here. This is where you carry. And you can your usually wear it multiple ways. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. If it has a strap, you take the strap and replace it with the a guitar strap. A guitar or, strap. Okay. That's what I do. Yes. So, the humble white T-shirt, simple on its own, so simple. But now we're going to do this. Somebody said you need a purse for your lipstick, Kellen. I certainly <laughs> do. Because when you're trying, you know you're. You're tasting these wines, you're gonna have to refresh your lipstick. Okay, so you can do this, okay? But you can also take your, your t-shirt, underfold it into the tank, mm -hmm. like that. And now, remember that little jacket? I, I hope the ladies are enjoying this format. We wanted to bring you something different. I don't get any comments, so I can't right. say anything, but I've got eight thumbs up. I have lots of people watching. Good. Good. Fantastic. So this same, this is the beauty of this running shoe is that it's textured on the side. So when you wear it, it's mm. already a little weathered and it has a very nice kind of uppity sole. So you're going to feel like you've just gained about an inch when you put them on. And you see that I keep wearing them without doing up the laces because mm -hmm. it's, it's a little cleaner of a look. So here we go. The humble white t-shirt, a little faux denim jacket with a lot of stretch that's light, that same black pant, and a white sneak. And there we go. And there we go. Okay. So I will be back um, later with the jean and I'm going to show you some great ways to wear the jean on my trip. Okay, right. and I'll have some more tips. Okay. 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 Thank I'll you. My tips and then we'll... Okay. And Rochelle, how are you doing? Showing the jewelry because okay. it was harder to show earlier. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, tips. This is Elaine's little umbrella. 
Yes. Which is great to break because look how small this is. Mm -hmm. It's teeny tiny. So this is great, can drop into your tote. You can push it into the side of your carry-on. So this is a great thing to bring depending where you're going and what the weather is going to be like. But there's a lot of rainy season right now. So this would be a fantastic piece. Okay. Another tip that Elaine came up with is she's got yes. this... I guess it's like a piece of a scarf that she doesn't mm -hmm. use anymore and it's chiffon, but you could use any fabric that you want. She poked holes in it and put the earrings. Mm -hmm. Like clip-ons. See the back? Yep. Mm. Mm -hmm. So she would fill this up with a bunch of earrings mm -hmm. on there and then she would fold it and roll it and pop it into a little jewelry bag, like so. Boom, there it is, mm -hmm. teeny tiny, and nothing's gonna fall off. I've right. lost uh, earrings before traveling, I'm sure everybody has. So that's a great little tip, two items that you could bring. This is something, I have not used these yet. I was going to get travel cubes, but I'm going somewhere that's not hot, so, there, I have a lot of uh, bulkier sweaters. I have a mix because warmer during the day, very cold at night. So I figured the travel cubes aren't gonna work as well for me with bulkier clothes. I could see they would work fantastic for warmer vacations where you're just rolling everything up. But if you're rolling a wool sweater, it's gonna take up a lot of room in the cube. So I bought these. These are compression bags. I tried it last night. I did a dry run on my packing and I tried this last night and it seemed to work. So you get different sizes in here. Seems to be a good thing if you need sweaters. So mm. you can see, here's the bag. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is one size and it comes with this little thing that seals it. Mm -hmm. So you put everything in there and there's um, somewhere down here that lets the air out of the bag. So that's one size. So you compress it as flat as you can, and then you can just stack these things into your carry-on. Look at the size of this one. You can roll wow. it to, uh, you roll them. to yeah. get the air out at first. Yes, although I was afraid it might break, so I did push it a bit. I had a pretty strong wool sweater. Okay. And I've then used it many times. You go, shh, 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 and you can hear all the air coming out of it. I had a friend who moved from a big house to a condo, and she stored her winter clothes in these. So when I saw it, I thought, you know what, this may be better um, for where I'm going because I do have a, couple, I have a couple of cashmere sweaters, I have a wool sweater, and I have a lot of dresses. I'm bringing, I think, six or seven dresses. So dresses are very long, take up a lot of room in a cube. Somebody said that if you roll it, it, it wrinkle, well, uh, you roll it only to get the air out, and then uh, when it's air out, you can close it properly and it'll be, it won't take space. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping, it won't take any space. Um, you know, I'm not concerned about the clothes getting reused. Yes, because, and they're reusable. Yes, they're reusable. Um, I think it's the best thing if you're going somewhere cooler and you do have heavier, bulkier things, mm -hmm. because a lot of this travel stuff I've noticed is based on warm weather travel, not cold weather, where you're gonna need to have you know something in fleece, and I've got a little, a puffer jacket, so I think something like this will work really well for me. So I'll let you know. I'm going to try it, and we'll do the suitcase last. So let's um, go on to Teresa. Okay. I'm pretty excited. Yeah. <laughs> so, good morning, ladies. Good afternoon. So, oh, I think it's afternoon. <laughs> it's different when I work in I the know. afternoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I'm going on a cruise. But I'm leaving Ottawa and heading to New York City is where it's leaving from. So I am going to dress a little warm leaving from here because once I get to New York, it will be a little bit cooler. So what I'm wearing is, of course, I've got these great runners, navy blue, beautiful, comfortable. Same, I think, as Elaine had on, except hers were white. It's your same sneaker, but same a navy sneaker. suede. Beautiful suede, navy suede. And I've got the spanner pant, pull-up pant, which is like... Same one she had on. Same one she had on, but, but and Elaine's mm -hmm. taking away from my... Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, course. Uh, look at what she's doing. She's throwing <laughs> things at you. So, but the navy, I mean, 
you need comfort maids, you know, when you're traveling, especially on the plane. I, I don't want to be confined or anything, so uh, I've got the navy pant, and I do have a navy tank underneath because it's cool in the airplane too. And I and anyway, this great jacket though, this is something that you really need to have, I think, you know, for the cool evenings. Now I am heading to Bermuda, so it's pretty warm there. So yeah, so I checked the temperature, Teresa. It's four degrees in New York City today with drizzle. Okay. So you're dressed perfectly. Yes. And then to Bermuda. Bermuda's kind of funny. I, I've been there many times. And I haven't, so. it can be quite windy. And it can also be cooler this time of year. It's not in the Caribbean. So okay. it's about 22 degrees. So it's warm, but not hot. But I like that 22 yes. degrees. So, and I, so, so I've once got, you get on the ship, you could take your scarf off. Exactly. But this is an Idine Fisher beautiful high low great t shirt in a, in a medium, just so the ladies know. And this little scarf is one of the loves pure light, beautiful. I think I have it to fold it in just a second here. So anyway, <laughs> I'll unfold it later. <laughs> but it's a zebra. <laughs> She'll enjoy That's that. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah, but six. Six. Okay, whatever. Like I was like will. the saran wrap. You can't get it open. <laughs> I'll ask my assistant Kirsten to help with that to show it to you. But anyway, so um, so we brought this too. So um, so this is good that you can wear getting on the ship. You exactly. Could just throw the scarf on and wear it to dinner, because you know you've been traveling. You're, you're tired. You know, about walking you know. around New York City before you board. So that's what you would wear. Then that's what, the next day you're in Bermuda. But first of all, when you're on the ship, I'm going to be going out for dinner. Am I not putting this on with the... Uh... You can, sure, you could wear it. Well, maybe... Whoops. Because that's for the next day. <laughs> yes. This, this okay. is for the so evening, let's... just to keep the same outfit on. Um, like the pants and the... Uh, and the little... The, the little... You're going to take your t-shirt off, Teresa? I am because, you know, it, you could, but I'm just going to show you, oh. too, how... how um, <laughs> Okay, I think I need help here. For Elaine, yes, but but you see, but it looks all, it looks fine with the t-shirt too. If you're yes. if you didn't want to have the tank, because and then maybe you might, switch your shoe up. And I would. I'd switch my shoe to um, a little the little um, either uh, the fit flop or the. Um, well, it'll still be cool ballet. as you're leaving so, New York. So you. So I think I put the little ballet. Yeah, the little ballet with the same one Elaine had on, yes. but this one is in the navy. How cute is that? Very cute, very comfortable. So, but you see this has the colors, it has the purple and the navy. So if it was a nice warm evening, you could you didn't need the, um, you wouldn't need the Eileen Fisher uh, little. Hi Vera, I'm going to Greece too, but in September for the two, so. It'll be interesting. <laughs> yes. And that's a great necklace because that's, that's the necklace. same one. It's a little dressier. And I'll show it to you later on as well. Um, so now you've arrived at your first port. Yes. And so it's a beautiful, lovely day in Bermuda. Um, like, you know, we, Kirsten said it's like 22 degrees, but it's, it's a nice, yeah, beautiful. Uh, Lots of wind there, so yes. there's a breeze. So we're going to be twins. We're on the same ship. <laughs> we will be twins. Or we'll mother, daughter. It's probably going to be mother, daughter. We're not the daughter. Waving each other across the ship. Did Wait you hear that? Each other. We're, it's mother, daughter, but I'm the daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh. kidding. Okay. This is a great piece. This it is a great gauze, piece. But it's got yes. a sleeve. Yes. Okay. And then a nice bracelet. These bracelets, yes. I mean, and these are so breathable, eh? You yeah. know, and you know, so you don't have to iron them very comfortable. And I've got mine on with a jean. She's got she's jeans. kept hers with the navy pant that she wore yesterday. Exactly. And you That's know, huge. for for those that might be a little shorter than I am, you probably wouldn't need the pant. Like I found it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it's a, little, it's a but... little short, but you know, if if you're using it to go to the to the pool, it's or you know, even for it's breakfast, navy it's nice. Pants? The pants are navy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. And then she can be out all day, and then this is something that she could still wear when yes. she gets back and wear to dinner. And then the next day, when the it's next a little warmer, day. she's going to have a beach day. You bet. So 
Are you able to take your pant off? I will in one second. I don't want to scare the <laughs> scare the viewers. Just be careful. <laughs> we'll go to go to commercial. <laughs> Close your eyes. So she would put. I'll just move over here. Okay. She would put her bathing suit. <laughs> this is Elaine's. She just bought this at the bay. It's really nice, actually. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. Price it's tag still on, but I cannot such refund Such a it. sexy and alluring. Right. <laughs> so she would put this on underneath her little dress. Are you decent? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> and she'd have that on, and then she could get off the boat. And here's your little... And your fit flops. Yes, the fit flops. But this is this feels like wow nothing. How cute is that? It's over very a bathing cute. suit. So this mm -hmm. way, if she stops for lunch at the Swizzle, that's she, right. She, yeah, she I'm ready. Right. Now I'm ready. She still looks dressed. She doesn't look but like I she's in a swimsuit cover up. Right? No, it's a beautiful little dress. How cute is this? A great little dress. So very cute. Mm -hmm. So Teresa, how tall are you? I'm five six. Five six. And, and I normally wear ten twelve. Okay. So could we see the back of the dress? You sure could. Cute with a little uh, seam at the back. This is a really nice little dress. Mm -hmm. Isn't it cute? Mm -hmm. Very cute. Get a close up. Yes. It's got a little heart on the pocket. Doesn't it though? <laughs> cute. So very, very cute. And then this is a new fit flop. This yes. is the uh, navy blue. It comes in a navy and a beautiful cognac color. But what's nice about this one for travel, it doesn't have any embellishment on it. So no. she can wear it day to night. She can wear it with everything. Just a little simple fit flop. Yes. With the cognac base. How beautiful Isn't is that, that eh? Nice? Yes. Yes. So the so, dress is in the linen, the yes. yellow one, but the green one is gauze. 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 Yes. Yeah. Very comfortable. So she has a C day. So she's going to slip into this. Okay. I'll just slip it over here. Okay. So she's... She's arrived in her navy pant. She wore it the next day. Then she wore it like that. And then she just put the little sundress on over top of her bathing suit. Super easy. She wore her navy pant to dinner with this beautiful wraps. And really, all of these wraps kind of go back to these spanner pants really, really easily. Right, Elaine? Mm -hmm. Yes. They're easy. And this could also be a scarf with one of her looks. And then she's got We should tell them what's this. Is this. What size is this so everyone knows? Yes. So this is the... Um, this is the large, extra large. So she could do really a small, medium, or a large, extra large. If you're putting it over your bathing suit... Um, you want it to be fairly loose. I've made yes. this mistake before. I've been in the water, and you put it on, and you get stuck. <laughs> it's it gets stuck to you. It's not a good feeling. So uh, maybe go up if you're going to use it as a swimsuit cover up. Yes, uh, she, uh, Teresa is wearing the Inspire Spanner pants in yes. navy blue, but she's size changed. ten, and they're she in changed. a ten. Yes. Yeah. So this is her sea day look. So she could walk around the ship. Just like this. Yes, but with shoes on. Which I put on like the flops. <laughs> yes. You know, she could go to the bingo. She could take a little dance lesson. <laughs> she could comb her hair. Could, could, <laughs> you know, go to her breakfast, go to lunch. She can you and know this type read of thing a book so outside, you know? Do everything with this on. And then later on, when she's gonna go into the dining room. Teresa, yes. let's see a little more though. Let's see a little closer what you've got, okay? So this is a bamboo high-low tank. Yes. Correct? Yes. And the pant? Is the, the bamboo pant. So this is both from orange. Okay. Yes. And mm -hmm. it's the black and the blue. And then the necklace is, uh, is this again, good? the same thing that Elaine had on with the multiple beads. Right. With different beads. Different okay. beads. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you can stack them however you like. Okay. And then when she goes into the dining room and it's mm -hmm. cold, she just puts her Kobe wrap on. Oh, and yes. Ooh. And now she's wow. a little more dressed up. Yes. So what is the Kobe wrap made of? Um, is this, it a cotton? Yeah. Like poly? a cotton Very knit? fine very, knit. Yes. Mm -hmm. it, but it's very light, like as we've said. And we've always, we've always also said that with the Kobe wrap, because of the little loop, you don't have to worry about, you know, fooling around with it or playing with it. You it just stays. walk on the deck. Yes. She go see the captain. Well, just oh, right. well, I wasn't going there. I guess I won't see you later back at the room. Back at the ranch. <laughs> I'm just going to say hello. She's just going to say hello. Okay, so her next look is on to the same pan 
have cut in white, and so I'll let you change, and then we can, I'll go over to Elaine. Okay. 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 All righty. Okay. So, so thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, so I mentioned I'm off to L'Italia, and I'm, I brought two pants. So I brought a black pant from Spanner, and I brought a pair of jeans. And the jeans are from NYDJ. They're called the Sherry Slim Jean. And I'm going to show you three ways to work the hem of this pant, okay? So what I did right now is that to save some time is that I undercuff the jean. The jean is a just, it's a slim straight leg, okay? But now I undercuffed it to give it a bit of a tulip feel. So it's cropped. I think it looks adorable with the ballerina. And then I did that same new ideal tunic that, uh, that I have from Simply. And I'm doing black and blue, just as my friend did. Yes. Okay, black and blue, but I'm doing black and navy. I added little tiny punches of accessories. So instead of doing the full shirt, I did a dickie, okay, in chambray blue because I didn't want to do all black and I didn't want the cream. Now I'm going to add the cutest little silk scarf with polka dots. Okay, like this. Come on in if you want. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. And now if it gets if it gets cold, I can reintroduce this jacket. Yes, all this fits in the carry-on. We tested the... We, tra we packed yes, everything. everything. Well, I threw it in my carry-on. I, I just... <laughs> Her packing was a bit yes. much. It all fell out. First time she put yes. everything neatly. Yes, <laughs> I did. But hey, okay, so there you go. And so you could do the runner with this. You can do the ballerina flat with this. You decide depending where you're going, okay? So, yeah. It's nice with the ballerina flat. It's nice, eh? Yeah, because yeah, the ballerina it's is similar a nice tone. neutral. Yeah. Yes. Boy, this ballerina flat feels so nice. Oh, it feels fabulous. Okay. I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep the um, the jean cropped, but you'll see later on it's full length, okay? Now... I mentioned the white t-shirt, the humble white t-shirt. This is how I'm back. <laughs> and uh, the, the humble white t-shirt is from Spanner. It's an essential. And uh, I, like, I like the feel of it. I like the length of it. I like everything about it. Okay. So I've got my little freshwater pearl necklace from Merck's and it's that little chain situation. I've really stacked up here. And remember that Joseph Ripkoff jacket that I wore uh, for my first evening out? Now I'm going to add it to denim. Like that. I'm just going to wear it open. Et voilà! Un'altra giornata in Italia. Buongiorno. Oh, boy, buongiorno. <laughs> buongiorno a tutti. And how many miles can I walk in this? A lot. A lot. A lot. And how many miles can these denim jeans take me? A lot, because I've had these jeans for over five years. So these... someone's asking if the ballerina fits true to size. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay, so... Do you know that I forgot a look on my black pant because oh. I also Can you do bought... it on your blue pant? Yes. So the beauty of this, so this is a cardigan because you're going to want a few third pieces, right? So this is the Baby Bamboo cardigan. Just the name of it, Baby Bamboo. I know, right? so cute. Right? And are you thinking comfort and cozy? Yes. Because that is exactly what this is. Okay, so there you go. So you've got your punch and your of brightness with the white tee. Look at, we've just elongated here. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna show you the full length of the jean. Okay, so I'm going to just, can you believe this is the same? This is what I love about mm. this jean. I just undercuffed it so it looked cropped. Now it's a full length, okay, now. 
I'm going to reuse this scarf with the white polka dots. Maybe you can open it. Yes, that's yes, very really And you know what? I will after because I, I don't want to disrupt. I like when it's folded like this as a person. <laughs> she almost had signing. a meltdown when I said <laughs> Teresa is going to wear this too. I had a heart attack because I thought I want it kind of like this. Well, luckily okay. I couldn't open it. There, luckily. see? She probably glued it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you, Teresa, or would I? Okay, now pop these little babies back on. Just a reminder, if you're wearing your scarf and you're using Ma Maggie's, don't forget when you go to oh, security, yeah. you need oh. to, to take your Maggie's out. Uh, yes. Otherwise, you'll be spending a lot of time. Rochelle, you are a Maggie's magnets yes. kind of person. You yes. like them. Oh, and oh, then boy. the model fell and the table fell. <laughs> I should have got you a chair. <laughs> no, I'm good. Okay, so there you go. Okay? Cute. So how cute is this now? Maybe I want to show off my shoe a little more. Okay. So... <laughs> well, She's I'm afraid of wrinkling her clothes. How I cuff this. I like an exaggerated cuff. Okay. Like that. Boop. Boop. Bop. Eddie Boop. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Alrighty then. Party on. Okay. Alright, party on. And uh, this is the scarf. So this is the zebra scarf. But, uh, you know, the beauty is the polka dot element here. As well oh, as you the did zebra. It <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's called Healing Stripes. It's upside down. Thank you. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Very, very cute. And the blue is kind of a purplish navy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it coincides perfectly with the baby bamboo cardigan in this kind of navy because this has definite a definite kind of purplish feel to it too, all right? Now, speaking of this cardigan, I'm going to really make use of it. But do you remember that hot pink tank that I wore with the black pants? Yes, I do. Okay, so let's bring it back in. I could just keep this necklace, you know, or again, I have the versatility of adding that Ziska necklace. And go back to full length. Ballerina. What do you think? Should I do undercuff, overcuff, or full length here with the G? Let's try full length. Okay. We haven't tried that yet. Okay. That's nice. Okay. So I've just worn this tank three times now during mm -hmm. my trip. Okay. Day, evening, and jeans. I've just worn this twice. I should have worn it three times because I was going to do an all black look with this mm -hmm. with the zebra scarf. Okay, then what I can do here is I can bring in another scarf because, you know what, what we found here is that you can do four or five of these scarves, of course, in your carry-on mm -hmm. because they really take absolutely no space at all as Rochelle would know, because you even used yours as a Pareo, Rochelle, when you went on a cruise. Oh, yes. You used it around your, okay? I did a skirt, a dress, uh, I wore it covering my shoulder, as a scarf, a wrap, uh, a Amazing. shawl. It's so, multiple use. What I like to do is just fold it in two, lengthwise, okay? And then I like to use it as uh, just over my shoulder. I'm going to remove this and now what I do is that I, I overfold it and I place it like that 
Now I'm going for a casual dinner, okay? We're gonna have some bruschetta. We're going to have Jeez. some pizza. I love it when she speaks Italian. It's so dramatic. <laughs> With a French accent. Yeah. We're going to have so some dramatic. burrata. Oh, Ooh, so that's cute. so That's good. my favorite. And oh, me too. And then I've added this. Now, the connection here with this is the suede tassel and the suede shoe. Can you not? I can't. I can't believe it. I wow. can't. I just, I can't. Hang on. i got to sit down. <laughs> and again, you're, where are you not going in this? I mean, are and where you know, are you going? Beautiful. I just said. Oh, right, burrata. she's going to for the burrata, the pizza. <laughs> and then what do you do after the burrata? You do this. Okay, <laughs> she put the elastic gonna, on. Who's gonna know? Nobody's gonna know. Um, okay, so there you go, and you've got your look from the back. Okay. How cute and colorful is mm -hmm. this? Very pretty scarf. Okay, very pretty scarf. And I could end with one, like, you know what we discovered today as I, as I was doing this is that you could literally get about 20, 25 looks yeah. from these few key pieces, okay? Well, so, when I was doing Teresa's, I actually had too many. You had I too had to many. cut them back because, and they still fit they into still the carry-on. So. Exactly. So let's say that you want to go back because you know what? My cashmere travel shawl, I paid a lot of money for it. Mm -hmm. I want to get some use out of it. Yeah. Okay? And um, here we go. And now, this is what my my uh, living, my my yes. uh, my room looks like yeah. on a daily basis. This, by the way. this is what her change room looks like, her bedroom. She's got stuff. <laughs> So I've got a few options here. I could do this if I wanted a nice long necklace, okay? Because I like the fact that it brings the white back in. Or I could make use of my little candy bar. Mm. I like this as a little candy, like candy bar. Okay. You can that. add and subtract those candy. Yes. <laughs> yes, which is so sweet. In fact, you know what? I've got too much color on here. I've got too much color. I want the black and the silver. So I want these two. So there we go. Place that. Put that. Boom. Magnetic closure. Nice. And now I'm going to do... Is this color not exquisite? It's beautiful. Yeah. It looks nice on you. Thank you. And you could do, again, the white runner here would be super, but I do think the ballet flat is cute. And again, now, just a little, how about a little roll like that? Nice. So I've shown you four ways to work with the hem of this jean, okay? Mm -hmm. And I've shown you like probably five, five days worth of looks with this jean. Yeah. with all kinds of different toppers. And the beauty is that you can wear all of these looks with the slim black pant that I had from Spanner or with the jean. So you're on your way to a great vacation. All right, so all now right. we're gonna go back to Teresa. Yes. Back to me. Teresa is landed in, in the Bahamas. So I've landed. Oh, and I just want to say off the top here that earlier I had my wristy business and this, this comes mm. as four. Just wanted to let you know that it comes as a foursome, but I've taken two off and I'm just wearing the navy with this particular right now. Just so. How pretty is this, Isn't this pretty? look? So yes. this is light, airy. It's light. No it's room in your suitcase. No. The white pant that she's going to wear for a couple days. Exactly. Super, super easy. And it's, of course, it's linen, so it breathes well. It's a, a yeah. gorgeous... Top notch top is what they, I think they described as a top notch top. So this is a foil. piece from foil, yes, foil, if you're yes. looking for it on our website. Yes. And it's 100% linen, very pretty. And it feel like in the warm climate, it's going to be so very nice. breathable. Exactly. You didn't take your tank off, did you? Uh, no. Okay, good. I was afraid if I was going to have to. Oh, God. Darn. Good, good. 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 the last time. Oh, my. Yeah, it has happened. It has. So just make it sure. <laughs> they pull paw. <laughs> so now she's on to, she can wear that during the day. She can wear it to dinner. She could be wearing her bathing suit during the day and then throw this on and wear it to dinner. And then the next day she can wear something like this 
What size do you wear to reset the The spanner? foil was a 10. The spanner pants? Oh, the spanner pants are a 10 as well, I think, yeah. yes. This color is all over, right? Yeah. This lavender Here's tone. Your necklace, so she can repeat the same necklace. Okay. Would so you do that, Teresa, on a trip? Would I would. You repeat? Yes, okay. I would. So look mm -hmm. how pretty. So now she's out and about for the day. Maybe mm -hmm. she went over to Atlantis on a day pass yes. and have lunch. <laughs> so she's going to go back to the boat for evening. Okay. Yes. And, and we've always, you know, showed our customers how easy it is. And you just showed, you just proved it, Elaine, how mm -hmm. one pair of pound, one, you know, yeah. can mm -hmm. be just so many different ways. So right. here's the scarf oh, that this one. <gasps> pairs with her navies, but it also pairs with this lavender. So she can put this on for evening in the dining room mm -hmm. with this color, which is beautiful. So this is a Love's True Light scarf? It is. Okay. See how pretty that is. So she's taken this from day to wow. uh, a more... That's very pretty. It is yeah, very like pretty. A little bit dressier. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the tunic is Shannon Passero, right? Yes, it's, it is. It's that gauze. The gauze, which you're going to want in the Bahamas. For sure. Mm -hmm. Then she's going to take this piece for her next day. Probably mm -hmm. oh, no, I'm going to put you back in this one. Take that one. Mm -hmm. So I was wishing Kirsten could come with me on my cruise so she can dress me. <laughs> <laughs> I can lay it on the bed just like the queen. Exactly. <laughs> oh, exactly. Get my outfits. So this is a great little piece from Flax. It's linen. It is. Really pretty against the white pants. It she is. Has nice. a, she only had two pants. Okay. So it's Flax. This is Flax. Flax. Yes. Okay. Which is known, as you mentioned, for their linen. Yeah, that's, that's what, what they, they do. do. It's the linen, and mm -hmm. you can see, look how fresh this is. So she's off the boat. Okay. She's had her breakfast. She's on a tour. I mean, look how smart this looks. She's been wearing this just two pants. Yes. Yes. And what size are you, maybe once you remove it, you can confirm the size on the tunic, Teresa? Uh, the tunic, well, that I wasn't sure. I think sure. it's a small. It's is a it, medium. It's a medium. Medium. Okay. It's a medium. Okay. Yes. Now look how... And the same necklace that she had mm -hmm. on and earlier. It, just, it feels great. It feels yeah. dressy as well as comfortable light. and light as a feather. So wow. That's perfect. So wow. Wow. Somebody asked, is the dark shoe too heavy on a color? Uh, too heavy a color? The dark shoe? No, uh, because then. You no, because she her her story for her wardrobe is based on whites and blues. Yes, the whole thing. So. Um, and then if she's going to go into the dining room later, she's got a little jean jacket to throw on. Or maybe oh. she's going to have a little dinner I out. Just pop it up. <laughs> How does that look? So she's Absolutely pretty adorable. Pretty so she's, nice. That's the same jacket in white that uh, Elaine was wearing in no, black. No, this is the French dressing. No, the this has a little bit of a fringe in the bottom. Yeah. And this is more denim. like a denim, yes. Yeah. The other jacket isn't. But, mm -hmm. uh, so now she's taking this. Arm yes. coverage for evening. Great may I, little look. May I say, would you consider rolling up the sleeve on that? Of this? Yes. I let's yes. see what that looks if like. If I didn't roll it up, I might just push it up. You know, push I might it just up. Put, yeah. Right. I like I think the I like it better, you know. I like the proportions on this. The long tunic with the short crop jacket. It's cute, right? And it makes it look different. So it's yes. not like, oh, she's had that on all day. Now yes. it's like, oh, that's it completely nice changes look. it. Eh? Completely mm -hmm. different look, and it gave her a bit of arm coverage. Yes. So, are you able to roll your pant? So, for her next day, she's going to go out in her simply. Okay, so let's just put this here for a moment. Okay. She brought her piece of simply in this beautiful new color. Mm hmm. Perfect. And she'll wear that. As she's out and about, it's warm, but you know, I find the trapeze dress is short enough that you can get away with it even if she put her bathing suit back underneath it. Okay, just to get away yeah. with it. And this color is called aqua yeah. in simply, and it, it, it's, it's that pure turquoise yes. color, right? It's a beautiful color. So she's just out and about. And yes. she's, <laughs> she's out about and she could put her little jean jacket over that for during the day if she wanted to if it was a little cooler mm -hmm. and she needed the jacket so she can head out for the day and then she could put these on yeah I'm not sure if I'd wear this would no, I? we no. take that off <laughs> we just do her 
little bracelets. These bracelets are just so perfect, eh? Mm -hmm. A little shot of coral there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe she should just do a couple just, just a in couple. case she goes into the water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and then she can wear this into the evening. Mm -hmm. You can take yes. the jacket off. Okay, Let, just give us a quick look there, Teresa. Good, okay. Isn't that cute? Yeah. So she's worn her Very jean cute. jacket yes. twice. Well, she could leave it on. And I she could. could put this beautiful silk scarf on with it. And then wear that into the dining room. Wow. For this her is evening. a beautiful look at the, look colors, at the colors with your dress. That's on my wish list for <laughs> Valentine's Day. Oh, so yeah. how beautiful is that? Gorgeous. Yeah, so this is Love's Pure Light new silk oblong silk. scarf, right? Yes. I'm going to come in for a close up. Yeah. We need to see that up it close. It is absolutely stunning. Mm hmm. All the tropical colors yes, are there. Yes, perfect for uh, This tropical. one is in silk, and you can get have it in modal uh, yes. silk, too. So we'll take the jacket off just to see. Yes. Just to see. Mm -hmm. So the jacket took, or the dress took her to the daytime, right mm -hmm. into evening, <gasps> and right into the dining room. Wow. And you, know, you could just wear this off your shoulders. How beautiful. Yes. And she can keep her fit flawless. These colors are mm -hmm. spectacular. How right? pretty that is. Wow. So light. And it so is like fresh. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. yes. Like vaporous. Yes. Oh. So she's got one look now. Teresa, why don't you change? Okay. Um, we can go behind the screen for this one. Yes, so okay. <laughs> so the, oh, the other thing that while well, Teresa's changing, another little tip to bring in a hot weather, hot weather holiday is your boy shorts. We remember these from last year. A lot of ladies bought them and they're back again. And this is a great thing to put under her little trapeze dress. Or maybe it's a really, really hot day and ah. she's not wearing her bathing suit, but she could wear it under this dress. Yes. You know, it, it's mm -hmm. just, I would say, throw one in your bag. Mm -hmm. Wear it if you want to. Um, certainly when it's really hot. You know, I've been in the Bahamas where it gets really, really, really hot and you're walking around all day long in the little uh, street shopping or you're at Atlantis and, you know, it's very, very warm and it can be very sticky. So these are really great things and they just make you feel a little more smoothed out as well. That They don't have panty lines underneath your sheer dresses, especially under a white linen dress or something like that. So that's a great tip. Great I tip. Like zip me up. I will zip her up. And here's her last night, her Ooh. formal night, mm -hmm. when she's decided to dress up, or maybe there's a wedding. Uh-huh. And not mine, but a wedding. <laughs> so if there was a wedding on the ship, or if she just wanted, and she, if she leaves the ballet flat, it makes it not quite as dressy. That's mm -hmm. right. So she could do a higher heel, which would dress it up the air. more. Yeah, she could do the era, or she could just do this, and look how pretty this is. This is like a dance all night. This with Ooh. these shoes, <laughs> dance all night. Could could she also try the white denim jacket sure. on this? Well, wouldn't that be a cute? Look? Wouldn't that be cute? Because now it's sheer at the bottom, right? The it, skirt it is, but it's is sheer. It's, it's lined. lined with a navy, with Interesting. a very stretchy lining. Right. And Teresa, I know you were saying, you know, you said I don't have much of a waist, but this dress gives. Yeah. It does give. It does give. Yeah, right. Does. So look at how cute, cute she looks. Cute with the jacket too. So it's a great dress because it's dressy, but it's not so dressy. It's not, but you mm -hmm. feel you really do good. A dark navy denim jacket with mm. this too. Would I would be gorgeous. take the necklace and put the running shoe, and then you have a totally different look. Yes. There you go. Sure. But it does feel very. Uh, in the plaids are feminine, actually. Yes. Yeah, I know. It's and it's a great dress for dancing, and I don't think that she looks overdressed in this. Mm -hmm. I don't feel overdressed. No. No. I think I think with the flatter shoe, it makes it more yes easier to wear if you don't want to feel too dressy. But if you do want to bring something that's really pretty and maybe something that you don't get a chance to wear too very often, often exactly. try to just dress it down with a flatter ballet flat, and that'll take you into that look. It's a beautiful dress and comfort because of oh, the stretch. Oh yes, stretches. The top is stretchy too. It's beautiful. And what size are you wearing, this madam? This is a twelve. It's the twelve. It is a 12. So true to size. Yes. For you. Pretty? Absolutely pretty. All right, so okay. down to our last yes. travel tip. Okay. And then we're off. And then we're out of here. Jet set <laughs> out of here. So I had to buy a new carry-on. 
because the airline change, the airline that I'm flying with, uh, which is Royal Air Maroc, has a requirement of a different sized carry-on than Air Canada has and other airlines. So it was really struggled to find something that's not a standard size. So I think I could go up to 21 inches, which was okay, but the depth is what they are concerned about. So mm -hmm. this is, um, I think, an inch or a half inch smaller than a standard sized carry-on. So it's not quite as deep. Um, I think because so many people are bringing carry-ons on the flights and there's so much crowding on the overhead bins um, that they're starting to change how we travel yet again. So I would say to make sure to check your airline requirements on your carry-on. They all have them posted now and they're all different. The other thing that was a huge um, requirement for me for a, a piece of luggage, it was an absolute must-have, was the USB port. Um, on a layover, I use my phone a lot, especially, you know, you're sitting for a long, long time. I want to be able to plug in to the port to charge either my headphones Fantastic. in there, my phone. I want my phone charged all the time. I, I, I want, you know, in case my son needs to get in touch with me or something's happened. I want to make sure that my phone has batteries. I've also been the person running and have had to turn my phone off and on constantly because it's going to die. So I like to make sure it's charged. I can charge my iPad in here and all you need to get, which I already had two of these. I'm the kind of person who's paranoid about everything, so I sit in the lane. I think I bring like a pharmacy with me when I travel. I do too. Every kind of Band-Aid, everything. But it's this juice pack. This is really important when you're traveling now. Because we use our phones to check in, we use our phones um, to fill in our COVID um, sheets before we get to the airport. We use them to keep in contact with our families. We use them to take pictures, watch a movie even. You need to make sure that everything is charged all the time. At least I do. It makes me feel panicked if I'm not. So I have two of these. Um, I keep them charged all the time. There's a pocket in the suitcase. It goes in, you plug it in, and then you plug everything in here. And I, this means for me, because the last time I traveled, I had this, I had this, I had my phone, I had my iPad pad, and I had all the cords to go into all of this stuff. And it was a huge mess. I started putting everything in baggies and rolling it with labels so I knew what cords went with what. It, it was horrible. So I don't want to do that anymore. So for me, a must was the USB cords. So many suitcases I found have those now because I think everybody wants them. When I was buying it, the lady who was behind me, she said, oh my gosh, where is that? Because I didn't realize that you could get that now. So to keep everything that's all wireless charged, you need a juice pack and the USB port. And that is the end of our travel show. So bon and voyage. Can I say one more thing? Yes. Just take another look at all the, the, these clothes <laughs> because seriously, they all fit into the carry-on. They fit into the small carry-on. So the small carry-on. So and Elaine's you know, too. When you look at it, heavens, you know, it's it's incredible. It's incredible. incredible. It, is. You know, it, it is. really is because when you think of how much stuff yes. you think you need yeah. and you start to pare it down, maybe you don't need as much mm. as you thought you originally did. Quick question. Would the Apple an Apple wear that dress uh, on uh, Teresa? The Maybe customer not. Asked. Maybe not, because yeah. it's because uh, yeah. where the yes, the I waist agree. is. Yeah. So there we go. So we are back tomorrow at 10 a.m. our regular time on Tuesday morning, and we will have brand new sweaters from uh, French dressing, all new colors. All so right. we will see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Cheers. Have a great Cheers. day. Hasta la vista. <laughs> bon voyage.